Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this delicacy called Ofe Insala aka white soup. It's made without using palm oil and it's easy and simple to make and it's very delicious. Guys, wear your apron and let's get started. To start with here I have some soft chicken as in it's not the local chicken that I'm going to be using and I'm going to marinate this chicken without onion. Yeah, I have some chicken bouillon, Cameroon pepper and salt which I've included in this pot and now going to give it a stir. Put all this together and allow it to steam for five minutes before I come back for the remaining ingredients. For thickening of the soup, I will be using yam as a thickener and so I'm going to cut some slices into cubes which I'm going to include in the chicken for, for it to cook until it's soft and tender. All the ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. Please check it out. And here I have some pepper soup spices which I'm going to include in the soup and also I have here some yellow pepper which is going to give more flavor to this soup and some dawa dawa that I've already turned into a paste. Hi guys, I would really love to thank my subscribers. Guys, thank you for your support, your comments, your likes. Mm, thank you so much. And for the new subscribers, you're welcome to this kitchen. Thank you so much guys, I love you. To this chicken now, I'm going to include the stock fish, which has already been cleaned properly. And I'm going to include the cubed yam into this chicken. I'm also going to add water to this, enough water so that it can cook thoroughly until the yam is soft. And here I have my already washed and cleaned Uziza leaf which I'm going to slice into very thin slices and keep it aside. I want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day because today is Valentine and I hope somebody out there will be preparing this delicious meal for a loved one. <laughs> and now that the yam is all soft and tender, I'm going to remove all of it, put it in a blender Add a little water and give it a smooth blend. After removing all the yam, I'm now going to add the pepper soup spice. And also, I'll be adding the dawa dawa in here. And I'll be adding the freshly blend yellow pepper, which gives this uh, extra hot flavor and also some dry fish that has already been deboned and cleaned. And in addition to this, I'll be adding plenty of crayfish to give it an extra bang. I'm going to give this a turn, put everything together and I will be adding some water to this soup and I'm going to cover this and allow it to steam 
for like five minutes. Going to cover this and allow it to cook for five minutes. This soup has been cooking for five minutes. Now I'm going to add the yam paste to this soup. I'm just going to put this paste all around the soup like this and I'll just cover it I'm not going to stir it I'll just cover it and allow the yam to melt inside the soup At this point now, the yam has melted entirely in the soup. I'm now going to give it a stir and check if the consistency is okay. And it's not too thick, it's not too watery. It's just at the right consistency. And now I'm going to add the uziza leaf to this soup. And at this point, we should check to see if the seasoning is okay if it's not okay i added some chicken bouillon to this and i'm going to give it a ton a very good ton give it a very very good turn and at this point we have to put everything together and our soup should be ready guys i want to thank you so so much for your support thank you so much for your likes thank you so much for your comments i hope this dish recipe was very useful to you please comment and let me know if you tried this recipe and also which swallow you'll be using to eat this our insula aka white soup for me, I'll be using pounder yam to eat this soup. Seriously, this soup is so hot and spicy. Eh? Oh my word, it was so, so delicious. Seriously, the aroma, the flavors, everything came out perfectly. Guys, I would like you to try this soup at home. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe to my channel for more beautiful, simple recipes like this. Cheers guys and thank you.